AFTV DT, what can I say? So, so, so poor today again. But did the game change and turn on the sending off? Nope, the game changed when Alex Awobi missed his chance at nil-nil. Same old bullshit. And that's what I keep telling you. We need players that are clinical, that are going to take their chances. Not Alex Awobi, not good enough. End of story. Don't want to say no more about him. And then the game did change in that, you know, with the sending off. But then why can we not defend as a unit? Watford went down to 10 men against us. They were already 1-0 down. Mm -hmm. But yet they looked the better side. Why can't we do that? We look a shambles. What more do you want me to say? My only positive from today is that we've got one more away game to go this season. <laughs> That's it. Well, no, I'm at Port Valencia as well. No, no, so, no, because we can go and get pissed over there. I'm not going to go and get pissed in Burnley. <laughs> but no, that's it. Arsenal make me want to drink alcohol again. That's how bad it is. Is, that, is that the end of it? End of it? Yeah. Um, getting into top four through yep. the league? Yep. 100%. We ain't getting in it. No point. We're going to finish sixth. We're going to have to sit there all summer and listen to the banter. And that's it. So would you just put all the eggs in the Europa League basket? I think Emery already has. I think he did with his team selection against Crystal Palace. I think that was the turning point of this league campaign with the team selection against Crystal Palace. But he Palace. hasn't today though, yeah? Because remember, we've got the game on Thursday. So he's obviously going for it today too little, because we've got the game on Thursday. Too little, too late. We were being helped out by other teams. You may as well give fourth spot to Wolves because no one else wants it. It's the easiest fourth place running I can remember in years. And we bottled it. What would you want me to say? We're a bunch of fucking bottle jobs. Should we go through the players today? I'll start with Aubameyang. I love him. Work rate was pathetic. Eddie Nketiah come on and he was shutting people down, showing him up. If he's affected by this operation on his sinus and whatnot, should never have been out there today. Simple. I don't mind if he's not getting service and you can look at other reasons why, but you cannot blame anyone for lack of work rate. So you've got to call him out today. Not good enough. Who else? Fucking the whole team. If you're doing the player ratings, the only one who will actually get numbers is Leno. The rest, zero. Zero, 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 zero. Make him walk home. Seriously, I'd take him to the train station, drop him off and say, go on, off you go, find your own way home. Piss off. Why should you give them comforts? No, they need harsh reality. A lot of them, they need a harsh reality, but half of them look tired. Half of them don't look like they want to be there. Half of the other players that look like they want to be there and we know that we, they're players we can build around, know that the rest of them are shit. But they're never going to come out and say, yeah, he's shit, he's shit. You just know, you could tell. You could tell. They know they're shit. What, what do you want me to say? All the eggs in the Europa League basket then for you. Yeah, great. And then we're going to have Francis Coquelin come back and have a fucking midfield masterclass and Gabriel show us why we shouldn't have sold him when we kept fucking Mustafi. <laughs> Simple. What more do you want me to say? I'm not confident. I'll go to that game on Thursday night. I'll be like, oh, what do you want me to do? Do you know what I mean? We go from playing the way we did in Naples to playing the way we have in the last three games. We, we, we did a podcast the other day and we, it was, that was the subject, innit? Why are we so poor away from home? And again today, I mean, it looked like he tried to change it up a bit today because I noticed that they didn't play the ball out from the back today, hardly. They tried to they tried to mix it up and do it a bit. But still, I mean, just so bad. But we're trying too many different ideas. There's too much going on. Mm. One week we're three at the back, then we're four at the back, then we're none at the back. That's the way we're playing at the moment. We're all over the place and it ain't going to help players' confidence. Because one thing that you so have you think to the have... That's the manager changing well, it yeah, up too because much. The manager, he does have to look at certain things that he does. And you have to question some of the things that he's been doing in recent weeks. I understand that you're going to rotate, but not rotate so much. You go back to the Crystal Palace game. He rotated the centre of defence, the right back, in front of the back four. Too many. You don't mind a couple of changes here or there. Mm. But the one thing that every successful side needs is a solid foundation. We ain't got no solid foundation. It's built on chocolate. It's what it is. It just melts. When the pressure comes on, who's going to stand there and actually do anything? They have a free kick in their own box. Casper Michael's like, looking at Vardy. Vardy's all like, yeah, go on. They know. We know in the crowd. We're fucking screaming at everyone. Go, don't let him do it. One ball. It's pathetic. Honestly, Robbie, what more do you want me to say? 
I'm, I'm sick and tired of it. I've got people sitting there saying you can't criticise players, this, the Fuck off. Go fuck yourself. I'll criticise who the fuck I want. I've been to more than 50 games this season, every single game. And if I want to criticise people, I fucking will. If you put in 110%, I'll come out here and I'll hold my hands up and say we were beaten by the better side. But when there's lack of effort, lack of fight, lack of desire, I'm going to stand here and I'm going to fucking call every one of you out. Every single one of them players needs to stand up and take a long, hard look at themselves. Nothing more to say about it.